Hello everyone, my name is Michael and welcome back to another episode in the Selenium tutorial series. In this episode, we will see how we can solve automatically reCAPTCHA version 2, which is this one right here, and then also how we can solve automatically reCAPTCHA version 3, which is this one right here. Now the difference is the old one just requires you to click the checkbox and maybe select the crosswalks. Whereas the version 3 doesn't need you to do anything manually. It basically checks your browser and tries to detect if you are a bot or not. And then it returns a score back to the website. And then the website itself decides based on the score, which is from 0 to 1. And basically the higher the score of your browser, the better for you, the more undetectable you are. Now to bypass the CAPTCHA, we will be using CAPSolver, which is a CAPTCHA recognition solution service. And they use machine learning to bypass the CAPTCHAs. Now CAPSolver is sponsoring this video, but I'm using them personally for me and my clients. And they are very reliable, so I really recommend them. And as you'll see, if we go on pricing, they are the cheapest in the market. Or if not the cheapest, they are very cheap compared to other popular services. And yeah, as you'll see for reCAPTCHA version 2, the pricing is only 80 cents for a thousand requests, which most CAPTCHA recognition solution providers charge at least triple that or more. So they are very, very cheap. And as you'll see for reCAPTCHA version 3, it's $1 for 1000 requests. Again, it's very cheap compared to other services. And yeah, to sign up, use the link down in the description. And after you sign up, you should get to a page like this one right here. Then click here to add credits, so you can add credits. And then you can select the amount. As you will see, if you select a bigger amount, you will also get a few extra credits. And yeah, that's based on how much you will be using it. So as you'll see, it tells you basically how many recaptures you are getting. So after you add some credits and you get your API key, let's go now on our code and see how we can integrate it. Now they do have documentation for both recapture version two and version three. I'll have the links down in the description so you can follow them if you want. But since they are a bit complicated to follow, I prefer I show you my own method. And yeah, so let's see how we will integrate it. Okay, so first of all, click the link down in the description and visit my GitHub repo. And I'll have both solutions, both for reCAPTCHA version 2 and version 3 down in the description. Now there needs to be some configuration done in order for your script to work with your website, with your targeted website. So let's see what each script does. And first of all, as you will see, we need to set up our API key here. So Go ahead and copy your API key and paste it right here for both scripts. Then as you'll see, most of the script will be the same. And I'll show you the differences right now and explain what each step does. So first of all, we need to configure here the settings for the CAPSolver solve function. And as you'll see, it takes, both of them take a type. So as you'll see, we can either specify the reCAPTCHA version 2 task proxy less. And we have two types we can specify for each CAPTCHA, either the proxyless or the normal one. Now, when specifying proxyless, it's because you don't have a proxy, but if you are using a proxy with your script, you must change that to the normal one, v2 task. And then also, as you'll see here, provide the proxy. You can also specify cookies for the version two. Azure Zero Agent and the is invisible. So again, if you are using specific cookies with the website, so you, so for example, if it requires you to be authenticated, you must provide them with the cookies. Also provide the user agent you are using. And of course, is invisible. It's only if the reCAPTCHA is invisible. For now, I'll comment those out because we are not using them. But again, you can set them up if you want. Same thing for the version 3, but only the proxy is available as a parameter. So again, you must change this to recapture version 3 task if you want to use a proxy. 
and yeah page action usually it's always home page now let's see how we can fetch the website key because for each website the website key here and the website url of course is different now all you have to do is search for the cap solver extension as you'll see if you go on their website it's on top right here go to chrome web store or if you are using firefox you can click right here Again, I have the link down in the description. You can also download it as a zip file so you can integrate it with your code. But we will only be using a part of the extension, so let's install it. So now all you have to do is go to the website you want to solve the CAPTCHA, right click, click inspect, and open DevTools basically. And then, as you will see, if we click more here, there is an option here called CAPTCHA Solver CAPTCHA Detector. So we will click that, reload the page, so you can fetch the website key, and if we wait a bit, there you go. It automatically detects the side key. Okay, you might have to click here to try again, because sometimes it doesn't find the exact key. The one we are looking for is this one right here. Examples hashtag version three scores. So yeah, this is how you find the key. Now, if we go here as well on the version two recapture and do the same thing, open DevTools and go to Capture Solver Capture Detector, reload the page. Okay, so for for some reason I have to add my API key for it to work. So if it doesn't so if it doesn't work make sure you add the api key here your api key and then restart the page again and there you go as you see it located the side key and if we go back on the code that's it so yeah after you locate the website key you can provide it here okay so let's see now what the script does next now after we provide those parameters right here for both scripts it then gets the solution and if it does get the solution successfully which most of the times it does as you will see it provides the token in an object and we to get that token we need to get the g recapture response now after we get that response we will visit the website that we want to target and then basically for the version 2 CAPTCHA, all you have to do is wait until the CAPTCHA is loaded. And then, as you'll see, if we go back and click inspect, and we go on the recapture. Basically, when you solve the CAPTCHA manually, all it does is, as you'll see right here on the text area, it updates the it updates the value parameter as you see the value property let's restart the page so you can see it there you go as you'll see by default if we don't solve the capture this is empty now this is what we are trying to automate to to get the response the the token that is generated from cap solver and then automatically add it here for the version 2 on the value property from for this text area so we are getting the text area from the id right here as you'll see and then what we do is change the style to block so we can see it and then update the value with the token and then all we'll have to do is click the submit button and it's done and then the next part of the script is basically customized for each website all this does is is waits for the success message that we get after we click submit and then for the version 3 it's similar the only thing that that changes is the selector so sorry you see here instead of the selector g recapture response we also have to do here the 10000 and the same thing here all we, all we do again is provide the token now for some websites as you'll see i have commented out the solution here but for some websites you might need to use this solution that is commented out so instead of 
providing it via the text area you can provide it using this function right here window.verifyRecapture by calling that function and then provide the token so if this doesn't work make sure you try that as well it depends on the website and yeah that's it again after we we provide the token on the text area it's done now we don't have to click about it in this case because it's not a, a visible captcha so after the token is added it does its thing automatically so yeah let's test them out so let's run the recapture version 2 script first So as you see here, Capsule Solar Solution, you got the token, it added it, it clicked submit, and that's it. As you'll see, result, verification, success. Now it's pretty fast. And let's try recapture version 3 as well. Now for the version 3 example, our goal is to get a score higher than 0 0.7. Oh, actually, I realize why. This is because I'm using a VPN, so let me turn it off first. And let's try again. And again, VPN proxy is the same thing. And there you go. So as you see, after I turned off my VPN, it worked just fine. And as you see, we get a score of 0 0.9, which is perfect. So yeah, that's how you do it. It's very simple. Again, make sure you click the link down in the description to sign up to this service. And yeah, with that said, if you enjoyed the video, click that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos.